Recently, I made the ignorant mistake of thinking that the noise dial had been turned down on catcalling as of late. On catcalling as of... What the... The, the noise... Oh, you can't hear me. You can't hear what I'm saying. Thank you. Come on, just... We're on time, baby. Thank you. That's better. On catcalling as of late. But I was so very wrong. I set my knees free. I realized that it wasn't the catcalling was going away. No, 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 no. No, it was that we were layered in a burrito of clothing that made us so indistinguishable from male or female that cat callers unwillingly went into hibernation. Oh, bring that booty, bring that booty, bring that booty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feel that booty. Yeah. oh, what a lovely couple of months where only the most ambitious cat callers would glare hard enough hoping that a button would pop. But it was these knees, these erection popping knees. Renders cat collars useless and sends these morons out in droves. <laughs> By those street harassers that claim that biological urges must be satisfied. I can't help it. I have manly urges. Or that they're just complimenting us because it's their privilege to do so. It's natural. I'm doing you a service by letting you know that when you pass by me, you are subject to the desires, opinions, and needs of the surrounding men. Come on, baby. Does your daily life include navigating a course of sexual menace? Has this ever happened to you? Or this? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. Or this? I always put my <laughs> so far up your Is your vagina prohibiting you from enjoying your morning, afternoon, evening, basically any time of day stroll without harassment? Are there scary idiots on your street that make you want to remove your vagina and relocate it to a land where women are respected on their daily commute? We have the solution for you. The Clamouflage 3000. The Clamouflage 3000 helps you get from one place to another and still feel like a human being, complete with blinders. Avoid all those obnoxious glares. If he's an excessive stare, we have drop down shades. For the most ambitious street harassers, we have the emergency burka. Complete with secret bat, ah! bear spray, ah! concealed taser. Ah! Please note the burka will not protect you from religious ah! intolerance. God, it's fucking hot. And a pair of headphones that whisper reassurances into your ears. Your self worth is not determined by what some filthy, cunny ass prick on the street says. Brought to you from the same creators who brought you the no-nonsense newspaper. Idiots. Ow. And the oh hell no spray. Alright, No. Ah, no. Ah. Call 1-800-CAT-CALL. No, wait, why? Why would it be cat call? Shouldn't it be not call? But no, that's what it spells. That sounds like we're promoting it. What? Call now, because it's free. As for what you can do about this, especially men, because men are our greatest allies in ending harassment. The first step is by believing us when we share our experiences. Don't minimize it or deny it by saying things like, well, what were you wearing? Or he was just complimenting you. Or why are you being so sensitive? If I have a rapport with someone who gives me a compliment on my hair or my dress or my ass, great, thank you. But if it's some random dude on the street, it's different. I know you don't see it, and so it often seems invisible. Where, where'd she go? You are less likely to witness casual harassment towards women if you are walking with them. Because to a man who feels like he needs to control a woman through harassment, thinks that the woman that you are standing with is already controlled by you. And they won't challenge you by harassing her. But an unaccompanied woman is a target. <laughs> I've heard my friends lie and say they have a boyfriend just to get another guy to leave her the fuck alone. And it works most of the time because she's technically already somebody else's property and so they back off. A person who speaks about a woman as though she's an object is someone who believes that women are things that are controlled or need to be controlled by a man. Also, bystander interactions work. So let harassers know that their toxic views are bullshit. Will we change their minds? Probably not, stubborn fuck. But if we can create a world of prevalent respect, I think that'd be pretty cool. Just saying. Cat calling's dumb. There, I said it. Don't forget to subscribe by the dotted vagina. If you're hungry, please watch another video here. And don't forget to spread the word like herpes, glitter, and Cheerios at brunch. Bye!